Marquise, you think are you 100 percent healthy? Yes. After what you went through earlier in the year. Yes, sir. I think last week, around Tuesday's practice. How'd you know? Uh, I was flying around like better than I have in recent weeks, and I had a very good practice, and it just it just felt good. Were you starting to doubt that you'd get back 100% at any point this year? No, nah, I, I never doubted because I seen the improvements from week to week, and I knew you know eventually you know it'll be come healthy. How much more does this mean, the fact that you're playing Texas? I know it's for a championship, but does the fact that it's Texas mean a little extra something? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know about that. I know it's a championship game. It's a big game. And, like, whoever we was going to play, you know, we was going to come out and, you know, just want to get the job done. Marquise, uh, Kyler did it again on Friday in terms of big plays at big moments, that fourth down throw, obviously, to CD, but he's had plays like that throughout the year, sort of must-make plays. What do you see out of him in those moments that enables him to do that sort of thing? Uh, it's just the confidence he has and the confidence we have in him. You know, in any situation, I feel like Kyler can get the job done. You know, if he has to use his legs, you know, if he got to pass it to the open man, I feel like, you know, he's more than capable, you know, in, in any situation. Is that just, I mean, most quarterbacks have to do that at some time, but do you sense him sort of like almost, you know, I don't know, do you sense it even more in moments like that with him, that confidence? Yeah, like he's he's very confident. And, you know, when that moment comes up and we're in that huddle or, you know, we line up, you can see it like he wants to be the one to, you know, get it done. Do you, Marquise, do you guys, you guys gravitate toward Baker? Pretty obviously, um, last couple of years, does does this offense gravitate toward Kyler on the same level? Yeah, I mean they they got two different personalities, but you know out there on the field, you definitely gravitate you know to his play. You know he plays at a very high level, and and it just wants you, wants, you want to match it at all times. So you know when he come out there, he takes sixty five yard run. You know he makes somebody miss. That just makes you want to you know even go out there and play even harder. How do their different personalities play out on the team? I mean, I assume it's maybe a little quieter in offensive meetings this year. I don't know, but like they are so different. How does that play out within the within the team within the offense? I mean, you know, at the quarterback position is different, but it's a lot of different personalities on the on the team. But you know, they just they're both likable guys, and you know, they both they're both like funny. They, they like Kylie. Kylie is is like funny people. He, he, he seems quiet, but he's not, he's not all that quiet. Who's faster, you or him? Me. You are? Does yeah. he know that? He, he don't want to race me. Have <laughs> <laughs> you tried to get him to race you? Yeah. When was the last time you did that? I think we gave it up, you know, around fall camp. We just, I don't think we'll ever do it. What's the fastest 40 time you've ever been clocked? Uh, before I got here, 433 uh, at my JC. You guys could charge ticket prices after you, you graduate, and people would probably come and watch you guys race. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a combo, huh? <laughs> Lincoln, Lincoln said after the game Friday, he was more impressed. You're not relying on your speed, but your physical play, and he mentioned the, the touchdown. Just talk about being stronger on the field, playing stronger on the field. How important is that? Uh, it's very important, you know, you know the game. You're always going to face people, you know, that's fast. You know, defense is fast. They swarm to the ball. So you got to find ways to make plays. And, you know, that's where, you know, the strength style come in and hard work comes in. And, you know, I was just glad to make a play. Hey, what did it mean to you to have Antonio Brown there at the game the other day? And what just could you talk about his influence on you? Uh, it meant a lot, you know. All the, you know, hard work we had for him to come watch me play. It, it was a big moment, you know. I had a good game, so everything, he, he's a big influence, you know. He taught me a lot of stuff, and, you know, it was just a, a blessing. How about that lavender jumpsuit he had? Is that something that rubs off on you also? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, he got his own swag. He, he got his own swag, you know. Anything else for Marquise? Will you be watching the uh, playoff reveal tomorrow to see where you stack up compared to Ohio State? 
Uh, I mean, if I see it, I see it, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Do you, uh, <clears throat> we talked a lot about Kyler and you guys in the past game. I wonder, do you appreciate how good your run game is? Do you appreciate that? And are you surprised at how good it is given how many injuries you've had to the running back? Uh, I'm not surprised because, you know, I, I know the backfield that we have and the players we have. But yes, it's, it's, it's a blessing to have those guys. You know, they make plays. You know, they, they open things up for the pass. And, you know, those guys do a great job and they work hard. You know, they work as hard as anybody on this team. You think people around the country understand how good the run game is? I mean, I'm guessing that you guys overshadow them a little bit. I mean, I, I don't know if they understand it, but, you know, it's our job to make them understand.